Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, Chris, Krista. Christita, sorry. Um, welcome. There's a few more people signed in. Good morning. How was your birthday? I did nothing and it was amazing for the first time in ever. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was very lovely. It was exactly what I wanted to do. So it was the, probably the easiest birthday my husband's ever had to deal with. <laughs> that's good. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Lewis, how are you? Good. I don't even think I got to say good morning to you the other day. Oh, that's okay. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone come to class? No. What? I was just seeing if anyone came to you, is coming in the studio. Yep, Mickey's here, and I've got Mike um, McCraney signed up, so awesome. maybe he'll come. I subbed for um, Paul last night in town, mm -hmm. and Mike was there. There was about eight people. Oh, that's good. Yeah, are you going to be teaching on Fridays? I am. All right, awesome. Yeah. Hey, Chelsea. Good morning. So Ashley, it felt really good to be in the studio and have like people breathing and oming. I bet, right? And yeah, actually... it was exciting. <laughs> I bet. And everyone was all spaced out, so I felt like it was social distanced. Right. Did you touch or no? No. Okay. I don't know if we're supposed to. Well, I know they said they had those tokens, but I didn't know, if, you know, I don't think I will be. Not yet. Uh, yeah, no one. Um, I didn't even talk about it. I mean, I, I walked around the room and said, I'm so excited you're here and I wish that I could assist, but I wasn't sure that I was supposed to, so I just didn't. Gotcha. So there's a couple more people signed in. I have one per another person signed in to come to class. Give it like a minute. Okay. Hey, Lewis, oh, many, while we're well, waiting, well, sorry, well, while we're waiting for them, how well, are you supposed to sign up for, for in class? I mean, I'm, I'm good doing virtual like right now, but when yeah. I go to the, um, the link, is it different where you have like the virtual class and then now you have the regular class? Yeah. Okay. So on my oh, app, yeah. it looks like you could like sign in for either virtual or a class. Like there's two options now. It used to be it would just say like the other class was not available and then you could only take a virtual. But I don't know what it looks like for mm -hmm. y'all. What does it look like for you, Mickey? Yeah, there's two. So it's... You got to show it on that. <laughs> Mickey's going <laughs> to show you. Okay. Hey, Lynn, good morning. Yeah, get a little closer. Oh, it's too bright. It washes it out. Yeah. So it's just on the app, like how it was before, where you guys yeah. added the virtual. Okay. Yeah. I, now you just have two options, either virtual or um, regular class. The first one says virtual power hour, and the second one just says power hour. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Mickey. In fact... Because Monday, um, I can't remember if it was Sharon or Donna. One of them signed up for live class, but, but she showed up on virtual. <laughs> so I guess it's easy. Either way, either way you sign in, you, can you could come if you decided to come. Let's, let's go ahead and start. Come, I'm going to mute you all. Um, sign, sign in, sign in, sign into your mat. <laughs> I'm into child's pose. <laughs> and then come in a breath, Ujjayi breath. 
And as you breathe in and out, create softness in your body. And um, I know I talked about this yesterday. Just be, be with what is. Notice what's here. How's your body feel? Meet yourself on your mat. Wherever you are this morning is where you should be. Nothing to change. Fill your lungs up, reach your hands forward, open your mouth, exhale, press your hips back and down towards your heels. Okay, take another breath, fill your lungs, fill your ribs, let the sides of your body expand. Exhale. Good, deep breath. Walk your hands over to the right side of your mat. <clears throat> Good, pull your left hip back, pull your right hip towards your shoulder, feel a stretch. Walk your hands back to the center and then over to the left. And feel the stretch on the side of your body. Deep breath in, exhale back to center. Downward facing dog, curl your toes, lift your hips. And then bend your knees here. Let some softness come in right away. Bend your knees, create water in your joints. Press your chest towards your thighs. And your foundation, your feet, press down. Your hands, press down. Your belly, draw it in. Draw breath in. Let breath out. Walk your dog, bend your knees, sway, shake your head, whatever you need right here. And just really be present to your body. What do you need? And what could you let go of? If you were moving blocks, what's blocking you from moving or breathing? Just in what's blocking you from your practice. If you're thinking about things you need to do later, they're going to be there later, so just let them be. Just come onto your mat. Take a deep breath in. Let a breath out. Ragdoll, walk forward. Grab your elbows. Press your head down. Soften your knees here. Bend your knees. Let your chest rest on your thighs. If your hamstrings are really loose, maybe your legs are straight. That's a work. Stacking heels over your hips, over your heels. Letting your head... Hang loose, let your jaw be loose. Peck a couple breaths, gaze behind you. Release your bind, put your hands down, walk your toes to touch. Ground your feet, stand up to dasana, reach up, look up. And then notice your core. If you lost your bind in your belly, just lift your pelvis up, press your tailbone down, pull your belly towards your spine, and then reach a little higher. Look up between your hands and draw your hands to your heart. Bring your gaze to your fingers. One ohm to begin. Oh. Tadasana. Go into a back bend. Lift up, go back, good, bow forward. Halfway lift, flatten your back out. Push your head forward, pull your shoulder blades into your spine, press them into your body. High plank, plant your hands, walk your feet back. Good, breathe here, take two breaths. Notice what's here, notice what's not here. Every one of you, so strong, believe in that. You are strong. Your body's strong. It's going to hold you here. Take another breath. Bend your elbows, low plank. Hover here. Two breaths. Two breaths to grow. Two breaths to draw in. Two breaths to express out. 
up dog, lift your chest up, press it through your arms, pull your shoulder blades straight back, and then your legs, squeeze the muscles to the bone, squeeze your butt cheeks in, lift your chest up, pull your shoulders back, look up, take a breath, down dog. Gaze between your feet, two breaths here. All right, let's flow. Step, hop, or float to the front of your mat. Rise up halfway, fall forward, come up to dasana. Go back, bow down, half lift, high plank, low plank, up dog, down dog, deep breath, exhale. Step, hop, or float to the front of your mat. Rise up halfway, fall forward, come up to dasana, go back. Yeah, a little further than last time. Bow forward, halfway lift, high plank, low plank, up dog, down dog. Breath in, breath out, come to the front of your mat. Rise up halfway, bow forward, to dasana, go back, bow down, half lift, high plank, low plank, up dog, downward facing dog. A big deep breath in, a big sigh out, step, pop, or float to the front of your mat, rise up halfway, fold forward, come up to dasana, go back, bow down, half lift, high plank, low plank, up dog, down dog. One more time, step, pop, or float, rise, fold to dasana, back bend, bow down, half lift, High plank, low plank, up dog, down dog. Pause here, breathe here. Ujjayi breath. Notice what's here now. Ground your feet, ground your hands, draw into your core. Um, I forgot to tell you, I'm here for Chelsea, and I just noticed on Facebook, it's her birthday today. I wondered why she wasn't coming, and I saw her yesterday. We didn't even talk about it. So you have to send her some birthday love. Take a breath in, let a breath out. Step up or float to the front of your mat. Rise up halfway, fold forward, Ukatasana, bend your knees. Good, press your hips down, reach your arms up, and then draw in, shins, pull them in. Pelvis lifted up, press your tailbone down. Good, yeah, every time you move up through your body, just notice it gets stronger, creating a foundation from your feet into your core, your shoulders, pull them back, press your chest forward, your fingers reach up, beautiful, beautiful, reach up, look up, take a breath, Bow, half lift, chaturanga, high to low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Warrior one, step your right foot to the front of your mat. Good, stack your knee over your ankle and then press it out towards your pinky toe. Start your, your foundation here. Ground your feet, the four corners of both feet. And then reach up. Square your hips, pull your hips square to the front of your mat, square to the back of your mat, as much as they'll go. They don't have to be perfectly square, but your foundation is strong so you can grow here. Pull through the sides of your body, reach up, send energy up through your fingers, spread them out. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Take warrior one, left foot, step forward. Ground down, reach up. Really good, strong in your legs, squeeze the muscles to the bones. Water in the top of your body, lift up, press up, reach up, look up. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a breath, exhale to the front of your mat. Rise up halfway, bow forward, Ukatasana. Bow down, half lift, Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. 
Warrior one, right side. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Warrior one, left side. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Deep breath in, big breath out. Everybody, you probably know this, but connect your breath to your movement. So it's not like you're moving maybe as fast as I'm talking. I think I started my coffee at 4.30 this morning, so it's kicked in. Um, just notice your flow, connect it to your breath, and, and that's where you should be. So don't worry about keeping up with everybody. Take a deep breath in, let a big breath out, step, pop, or float to the front of your mat, rise up halfway, fall forward, come up Ukatasana, bow down, half lift, High plank, low plank, up dog, down dog, warrior one, right foot. Warrior two, open your arms. Yeah, gaze at your front middle finger. Draw your shoulder blades into your spine. Move your upper arm bones back, let your chest open. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Warrior one, left foot. Warrior two, open up, square your hips to the side of your mat, stack your shoulders over your hips, couple breaths here. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Fill your lungs, empty out, step pop or float to the front of your mat. Rise up halfway, fold forward, Ukatasana. Fold, half lift, Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Warrior one, right foot. Warrior two. Reverse warrior, flip your palm, reach back. Good, press your knee over your ankle. And then feel the stretch. It's probably a stronger stretch than we did in, in our um, child's pose. Just open up, open up, reach back, look back. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left foot, warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Open up, take a couple breaths. Feel your lungs, stretch your fingers back. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Deep breath, big sigh. Step, hop, or float. Rise up halfway, fold forward. Ukatasana. Bow forward, half lift. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, warrior one on the right. Warrior two, open your arms. Reverse your warrior, flip your palm, reach back. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Warrior one on the left. Warrior two, reverse warrior. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Deep breath. Big sigh. Ha. Huh. All right, as you flow and move, just notice what shows up. Be with what's there. And then if something is blocking you, you get to remove the blocks. That's one of the laws of transformation in the um, 40 days to personal revolution. Just notice what blocks you and how can you let go of it. Three-legged dog, walk your feet together. Lift your right foot. Good, bend your knee, stack your hips, press over. Good, lower your heel, raise your knee, take a breath. Stay here, flip your dog, bring your foot down. Point your feet to 12. Breathe. Lift your gaze to your top hand, lift your hips towards the ceiling or the sky, depending where you are. 
draw in, express out. High plank. Low plank. Up dog. Down dog. Three-legged dog. Left foot. Lift up. Press over. Draw into your core. Squeeze in. Express out through your hands and your feet. Press your hands down. Spread your toes out. Flip your dog. If you're flipping your dog, go for it. Ground your feet down. Lift your hips up. Lift your gaze up to your hand. Take a breath. Reach. Stretch. Grow. High plank. Side plank. Stack your heels to the right. Press your right hand down. Lift your left hand up. Open your eyes and look up. As you look up, what's this thing where your uh, attention goes, your energy flows? So let your attention go up and then lift your body up. Lift your hips up. Lift your foot up. Flex your toes. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Draw in, draw in. Then you express out. Pull into your core and then just open your pose. Breathing, reaching, pressing, growing. High plank. Side plank, left side, plant your heels to the left, plant your left hand, reach your right hand up, look up, right away, lift up, like send your energy up, 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 pull your toes towards your knee. Yeah, good, make you pull your belly towards your spine, pull your rib cage in, expand your back, take a breath, look up, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, deep breath, let it go. Crescent lunge, right foot, step forward. Good, so find your foundation, the four corners of both feet, your front foot, press it down. Your back foot, lift your heel over your toes. And then squeeze your shins in, both legs. You lift your back thigh up, and you just squeeze the muscles through the bones in your legs. Pull through the sides of your body up. Draw your hands up, draw your gaze to your hands. Create some length right here, right now. Bring your hands to your heart. Keep that length. Twist to the right. Hook your elbow to your thigh. Good, good. <laughs> Press your palms together. Press your bottom shoulder forward, your top shoulder back. And then you have the option now. Open your arms up if that feels good to you. You choose. You breathe. Find your full expression. We'll take two breaths. One more breath. Open up. Warrior two. Spin your back foot down. Reach your right hand forward. Reverse warrior. Extended side angle. Stack your knee over your ankle. Good. Yeah, Mickey's got a block. If you have a block or a book or a bottle or whatever at home and you need it, take it. Reach your right hand forward. Stretch through your side body. Press down the knife edge of your back foot and then stretch all the way through your fingers. Good, now reach your bottom hand forward like you're holding a beach ball. Draw into your core. Good core practice. Now twist, push your bottom shoulder forward, your top shoulder back. Fill your lungs up, stretch, exhale, twist. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Crescent lunge, left foot, step forward. Find your feet. Stack your heel over your toes. Lift your thigh up. Squeeze your legs in from your skin to your muscles, from your muscles to your bones. Draw your belly in. Reach up. Bring your hands to your heart. Twist to the left. Look over your shoulder, push your heel back, push your head forward, open your arms as you're ready, ujjayi breath, in and out. Warrior two, reverse warrior, extended side angle. 
All right. Come forward and down. Lift your gaze up. Explore your feet. Push your heels down. Push, push your big toe mounds down. Good. Reach your top hand forward. Stretch here. Stretch here. Pull your body long through the side of your body from your foot to your fingers. Reach your bottom hand forward like you're holding a beach ball. Pull your core in, your belly, your ribs. Expand your back. Press your thoracic spine and move your upper arm bones back and then twist. Push your bottom shoulder forward, top shoulder back. Deep breath. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. So the um, theme of the week is rejuvenation. And just notice now, what do you need to do to rejuvenate? That's why there's a lot of twisting in the practice. It rejuvenates. Step, hop, or float to the front of your mat. Rise up halfway. Fall forward. Ukatasana. Prayer twist, left or right side, draw your hands to your heart, twist over, hook your elbow to the outside of your knee. Good, open your arms, lower your hips. Twist here, breathe here. Ukatasana. Twist left. Draw your hands to your heart. Ukatasana prayer. Twist left. Lower down. Breathe. Even though you're still, your breath is the flow. Just let your body open. How do you create rejuvenation here? Just by breathing. Ragdoll. This is a great place to rejuvenate. Just let your head hang. Sway your body if it feels good. Release your bind, plant your hands, to walk your toes to touch, come up Ukatasana, eagle, right side eagle, wrap your right leg over your left, wrap your right arm under your left, and then squeeze your binds tight, set your gaze. Lengthen out your body. Pull your elbows up. Move your hands from your face. Push your standing foot down. Lift the crown of your head up. Don't hold your breath. Let breath flow. Eagle. Left side switch. Switch right into it. Draw right into it. Breathe right into it. Plant your feet, raise your hands to Dasana. Take a back bend, bow forward. Come into Ragdoll, bring your feet apart. Grab your big toes with your peace fingers. Halfway lift, fold. Halfway lift, fold. Now let go of your left foot with your fingers. Bring the weight of your body into your left foot. Hold on to your left, your right foot. Come up, standing leg raise.
kind of a tricky way to get there. Open your pose, bring your knee to the right, bring your left hand to the left, look over to your left thumb. Good, your thoracic spine draw it in, move your arm bones back, just get that much bigger, that much more open in your pose. Take a deep breath, come back to center. Airplane, press your foot back. Reach your fingers back. Good, turn your toes down. And then softness, remember the softness from the beginning, bring that into your pose. Water in your knee, soften your knee. Effort and ease, squeeze your skin to your muscles, your muscles to your bones. Soften your gaze, look in front of you. Take half moon, reach your hands to your heart. Reach your left hand down, reach your right hand up. And beautiful, everybody. Stack your hips, stack your shoulders. Flex your toes in the back, reach your arms apart. Look to your top hand, take a deep breath. Ragdoll. Rejuvenate here. Reset here. We'll do the other side. Fingers to toes, forward fold. Grab your big toes. Soften your knees, rise up halfway. Fold forward. Good, do it again, rise up. Bow down. Let go of your right toe. Hold on to your left toe. Come up, standing leg raise. Bring your knee out. So it's uh, left, left knee. Open up, look over. Get tall here, press your foot down, pull your toes up, push the crown of your head up, come back to center, airplane, press back, reach back. Good, square hips, turn your toes down. Up, do up dog in your chest, pull your shoulders back, lift your chest up. And then just like when you're an up dog, squeeze your leg muscles in. Squeeze your butt cheeks in. Strong foundation, lift, breathe. Just soar here, a couple breaths. Half moon, draw your hands to your heart. Then reach your right hand down, lift your left hand up, look up. Pull your toes towards your nose, stack your hips, stack your shoulders. Two breaths. Ragdoll. Gorilla, put your hands under your feet. Soften your knees, soften your neck. Halfway lift with a breath in. Bow with an exhale. Half lift, bow. Half lift, bow down, move your feet off your hands, plant your hands on your mat, walk your toes to touch, rise up to dasana, take tree, bring your hands to your heart, press your right foot into your left leg. Lock your gaze, tap into your breath. Grow your tree. Beautiful, if you look reach, reached up, look up. 
And if you're reaching up, go back, take a back bend. Maybe go back till you fall out. And come back up, bring your hands to your heart, bring your gaze to your fingers, switch your feet. Shift your vision here to see what happens on the other side. Be with what happens. If you're wobbly, you're wobbly. If your tree's strong, be strong. You're really strong, whether you come in or out. The trick is coming back. Yeah, and as you grow, you reach and you follow your hands with your gaze if you're reaching up. Invitation to go back, fall out. My favorite saying of the week has been, you can't find your edge till you go over the ledge. So find your ledge, go over. Maybe that's the growth, just to come out. And then plant your feet, reach up, take a deep breath, bow forward. Halfway lift, lengthen out. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Warrior one, right foot forward. Good, open up warrior two, triangle, straighten your leg, reach to the outside of your front foot. <laughs> stack your hips, stack your shoulders, and then twist, push your bottom shoulder forward, move your top shoulder back. Take a deep breath, look to your thumb, open up, one more breath, warrior two. Just side facing wide legged forward fold. Straighten your leg, point your feet to the left side of your mat, reach your hands up, bow forward. <laughs> Mickey's on the spot, he's right here. I get to talk, I'm looking at him, telling him. He's probably like, what? Plant your hands, <laughs> bring your gaze behind you, soften your knees, soften your neck. Halfway lift. Fold, halfway lift, fold, half lift. Place your hands on your hips, point your elbows up, pull the pit of your belly in and up, just rise up slowly, release your hamstrings really slow. And let's take pyramid, point your feet forward, walk your back foot in halfway. Take a bind behind your back, bow over your front leg, interlace your hands or bring your hands to prayer. Press your nose down towards your knee. Notice your feet, push them into your mat, pull your inner ankles back, press your outer ankles down, rise up halfway, lengthen your body, push your head forward, your hips back, bow forward. So good, breathe in, rise up. Exhale, bow, rise up halfway, release your bind, reach your left hand to your mat, reach your right hand to the sky, revolve triangle, deep breath, deep breath, draw into your core, exhale, stack your shoulders, take another breath, ground your feet, exhale, open the top of your body, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, take a breath, let it all go. Warrior one, left foot. Warrior two. <laughs> Triangle, straighten your leg. Reach to the outside of your foot. Beautiful, everybody. So pretend like your body's in a pane of glass and you've got your hips stacked, your shoulders stacked. Look to your top hand. Good. Now, Break the glass, just start to open up. Push your top hand back, push your top shoulder back. Move your bottom hip forward, move your bottom shoulder forward. Breathing, reaching, exhaling, twisting. Take another breath, warrior two. Side facing, wide legged forward folds. Put your feet over to the right, reach up, bow forward. Grab your big toes with your peace fingers. Yeah, so find the straddle. Soften your knees, soften your neck. Halfway lift. 
fold, half lift, fold, half lift, let go of your toes, place your hands on your hips, slowly rise up, maybe slower than last time. Set up for pyramid, point your feet forward, walk your back foot in halfway. Find your bind. If you interlaced your fingers, just move one knuckle off, make it feel different. Bow forward. Press your nose towards your knee. Press your forehead towards your shin. Pull your hips square to the back of your mat. Squeeze your butt cheeks in. Feel your legs engage when you squeeze your muscles in. Rise halfway. Fold. Rise halfway. Fold. Rise halfway. Release your bind. Revolve your triangle. Reach your right hand down. Reach your left hand up. Lift your gaze up. All right, find that bind. That squeezing in your legs. Squeeze your legs in. Push your thoracic spine in. Move your upper arm bones back. Get big. Take a breath. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. High plank. To your belly. Just lay down. Turn your head to one side. Rest. And then turn to the opposite side. Bring your head to the center. Locust, reach your arms back. Lift your chest up. Good, lift your legs up. Flex your toes, lift your thighs up. Pull your ribs off your mat. Pull your belly towards your spine. Press your pelvis down, lift a little higher. Squeeze in tight. Lower down. Rock your hips. Lift up, locust, come on up. Come on up, draw in, create your fullest expression out. This is the last locus of this practice. Ground down, lift up, squeeze in tight, flex your toes. Yes, let it feel good. Maybe it just feels good to release. Come down, let go, let go. Breathe in, breathe out. Floor bow, bend your knees, grab your shins, grab your feet. Draw your knees to hip width distance. Press your shins to the back of the, your mat. Lift your chest up. Lift your ribs up. Pull your thoracic spine in. Move your chest forward. Breathe here. Lower down. Rock your legs side to side. Come to, let's take a, a cobra. So it's like an up dog. I think you all know this. Just lift up. You keep your hands down. Yeah. And then lower down. Turn your head to one side. And then come back up, Cobra. This time, lift your hands off your mat. Squeeze your shoulders in. Let your core pull you up. Come down. Turn your head to the opposite side. Upward facing dog. Straighten your arms. Lift up. Squeeze your legs in. Pull your shoulders back. Downward facing dog. To bridge, lay on your mat, lay on your back, walk your heels towards your fingers, reach your fingers forward. Once your heels touch your fingers, ground your feet, press them into your mat, lift your hips up. Use your legs here to do the work. So press your feet down, ro rotate your thighs down towards your mat, inner thighs go down, walk your shoulders under your body, create a shelf. And then if it's there, you interlace your hands under your hips. Press down, lift up, deep breath, empty out, take another breath, exhale to your mat, low, lower down, rock your knees side to side. Come back up, bridge, lift up, start where you left off, get as high as you were, and then find what can you remove? What block can you remove just to go a little higher? Maybe it's a deeper breath. Maybe you press your feet down a little more. Maybe your arm bones need to press down. Breathe and grow. 
draw in, express out, come down, rock your knees, you're ready for wheel. Bring your hands by your ears. Straighten your arms, lift up. If you need to take another bridge, take another bridge. That's your rejuvenation. Whatever you need right now to ignite your body, build this flame in your body, ground your feet, lift up. Yeah, Mickey's got his heels off his mat. Maybe that's for you. Squeeze your shins in, take a breath in, lower down, rock your knees side to side. And then go again, come on up. Bridge or wheel. Bridge your wheel, yogi's choice. Ground your hands, ground your feet, lift your body. Use your breath, deep breath in, big breath out. Lower to your mat. Rock your knees. One more, bridge your wheel. We'll do this for Chelsea's birthday. We're not going to sing. We'll just lift up. Sending her some love vibes. I'll tell her we did this. Put your hands by your ears, lift up, or lift your hips up, bridge your wheel, one more breath, lower down, Supta Baddha Konasana. Maybe this is your rejuvenation. Maybe this is where you check in. Maybe this is where you notice a block that you could remove. And from here, let's create stability. So we'll just do some um, core work. Press your feet together. Keep your soup to bottom bind in your feet, but press your feet together, pull your toes apart. Draw your hands by your ears, elbows out. Tuck your chin to your chest. Crunch up. Crunch up towards your knees. If you want to make it a little more uh, difficult, you lay, raise your feet off, your, or off the earth. But pull your belly in. Try and fold your belly in half as you crunch up. Go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now stay up. Start to draw your knees towards your elbows. So you're using the bottom of your belly to pull yourself up. So pull your knees up. Yeah, take your, keep your foot, your foot bind, soup to bottom bind. Yeah, just pull your belly, lift up, go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, bring it all together. Bring knees to elbows, elbows to knees. Pull your belly into your spine. Fold your belly in half as you crunch up. You've got this. Don't stop now. <laughs> All right. Remember, you're strong. Stronger than your head like, like you think sometimes. So just keep going. Go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lay down. Stretch out. Reach your hands over your head. Point your toes. Full body breath. Lungs, belly, fill up. Open your mouth, sigh out. Hug your knees to your chest. Rock and roll into boat. We'll just take boat, five breaths. So find your boat. You could have your heels down. You could grab your thighs. You could have your hands behind you. You take full boat, just reach out, stretch out. Lift your chest, pull your shoulders back, flex your toes, five breaths. You take your breaths. Squeezing in to your core, expressing out through your hands and your feet. On your fifth breath, just lay down, hug your knees to your chest. Make your way to down dog. And from down dog, we'll go to half pigeon. So bring your feet together. Lift your right foot up. Take a three-legged dog to stretch. Press over. And then draw your knee to your wrist. Align your thigh to your mat. Align your shin to your mat. 
Walk your hands forward. Remember your ujjayi breath. Bring it here. This is such a great reminder of just check in. Meet yourself where you are in the tightness. If there's tightness, create softness. I was reading a post this morning on, um, there's a, a Baptiste teacher group, and someone asked, why, why is Half Pigeon such a tough pose for lots of people? And it was just interesting to read, a pro there was probably like six, eight comments about it, and everyone had a different opinion. Some of them were like, well, that's the tightest part of your body because everything's there, your psoas, your hips, your hip flexors. And other people were like, well, that's where your root chakra and your sacral chakra are, and that's where you find um, fear and anger. But it's also where you find joy, pleasure. So the opening of your hips, it could be either side. And some people just said it's because you store your emotions here and it's hard to let go of them. So whatever you notice now, whatever you um, live into, whatever you believe into, just notice what could you let go of. to come into your fullest expression. I always try and keep myself open to all possibilities, so all those kind of made sense to me. So what are you open to? What makes sense? What makes sense for you to open up? Three breaths. Downward facing dog. Bring your feet together. Three-legged dog, left foot. Half pigeon, left side. Set it up and breathe. Stay here for three more breaths. And then come up, swing your legs around, take seated forward fold. Just bring your legs in front of you. Reach your hands up, bow over your legs. Stretch out your low back. Take a half lift. Fold. Halfway lift. Fold. Come out. Set up for an inversion. Waterfall, shoulder stand, headstand. So this pose really is rejuvenation.
take what you need to rejuvenate right here, right now. Your ujjayi breath will keep your blood flowing. Couple more breaths. Raise your hands up. I think everyone's in waterfall. Raise your hands up. Let the blood flow out of your fingers into your core. And then lower down to your mat. Hug your knees to your chest. Take your block out from underneath you if you have a block. Supine twist. Pull your knees over to the right. Open your arms to a T, bring your gaze to the left. Ujjayi breath here. Move your knees to the left, move your gaze to the right. Come back to the center of your mat. Squeeze your knees to your chest. Shavasana. Spread out on your mat. Close your eyes. Bring your breath back to normal.
Bring your awareness back into your room, onto your mat. Move your toes, move your fingers. Rock your head, stretch out. Pull your knees to your chest. Roll to your side. Come to seated. Bring your hands to your heart. One ohm. Aum. Press your thumbs to your forehead. We bow to each other. Namaste. <laughs> Good practice. <laughs> Thank you. Air five. All right. Wait a minute. I'm going to come over there and unmute. Talking about removing blocks, I put the um, little pad for the um, microphone in my back pocket and I sat down on it and it's like, ooh, that's a block I need to remove from my butt. So. <laughs> Thank you all. Good practice this morning. Um, Thanks. So I'll be, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll probably see you Friday morning if you come with um, Haley. And then have a good day. I don't have an announcement. Thank you, Lewis. You're Bill. welcome. Thanks, good Lewis. to see you all. Bye. Thanks, Lewis. Have a great day. Bye. Aaron, when you, um, you know when you roll over at the end, do you roll on your right or your left? No, I roll on my left. For, okay. For I think you, yeah, you know for, all the stuff to do, I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you see something, please let me know. But um, yeah, I uh, sometimes that's the reason why I'm like, people don't follow me because when we get into certain abs and stuff, it just yeah. doesn't, it doesn't feel well. So I'll do, you know, some, some glute exercises or mm -hmm. I'll do like the penguin like abs that doesn't yeah. bother me. Um, yeah. So I mean, like, it, and some days things feel fine, and then other days are not. Like, I just now started to have to keep my legs like um, spread apart, like when I go up into like Utkatasana and like all that. Like, I uh -huh. just now had to do that. Okay. Where like a lot of people like have to do that way before me, but I mean, yeah. Um. I mean, my, my belly about, has kind of just popped. What did you say? Well, what about um, back bending? Are you doing? No. Okay. Yeah, because you know, like you could do like spinal balance when we're doing like um, locust mm -hmm. and wheel. They told me not to do, not, no like floor bows. Yeah. But you know, you spinal balance where you're um, yep. on mm -hmm. the tabletop and then reach. I'll do that. Have you, I think um, Stacy is teaching on Sunday. Yeah. And she knows so much about what to do when you're pregnant. Yeah. It would be a good one to pick their brain if you have any questions. Like I, I know a little bit just from being here, but she really knows. Yeah, yeah. I took, um, I took that class with Dawn. Oh, you did? Um, okay, good. Yeah, yeah, before, you know, um, you know, she left and stuff. And it was before I was pregnant, but I had so many friends that were pregnant and yeah. they just were nervous, you know, because when we say we do heated yoga, mm -hmm. everybody thinks it's like Bikram. And I'm like, it's not like that. Like, yeah. you know, um, I mean, there was a couple of times when I was first pregnant before you guys knew. And cause I would always get in the back corner of this room here and that uh -huh. vent would hit on me because yes. I wanted extra. But as I got, as I was pregnant, I couldn't do that. So I had to move um, because that really did add a whole different element for, for me. And I, I mean, there was, there was times in your class, she walked up to me and you're like, are you okay? Because normally I would be blowing through that, you know what I mean? Yes. And I, I couldn't, but I wasn't showing yet, you know, so nobody uh -huh. knew. <laughs> but uh, All right. yeah. how, how is I going back to work? work? Practice, and I didn't want to call you out in front of everybody, but um, just, you know, make, you know, you know how to make yourself safe. And that's what you need to do. Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. And you'll, you'll never embarrass me if you ever have to call me out. I promise. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, it's like we get into it and then I kind of forget and it's like, oh, I need to offer this. But I think you, you know. But like I said, if I'm going to, yeah. um, I think Stacy's going to teach virtual uh, Sunday when she teaches. So she may be someone to, um, to ask about it. I'll tell her. Okay. She, she teaches that. Um, okay. It was like a whole okay. series. So she's a good one. But I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll see, yeah. uh, maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Well, awesome. You're going to come tomorrow. Well, you have a great rest of your day. And you too. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.